Good morning, Canada. Welcome back to BT. And it's a Monday, so let's stretch into the week as we get moving this morning. And sometimes we completely forget about our posture. So these four exercises are going to get you back on track. That's a Dina pun <laughs> right there. I see what there. you did there. Yeah. Joining us right now is Dr. Liza Egboga, and she's here to help us feel better. Good morning, Dr. Liza. Good morning. <laughs> we love you, Dr. Liza. Okay, we're going to make our spine feel fine. How Ooh. do we do it for sweet moves? Yeah, so this is a great routine that you can do every day that not only will help you feel more limber, but will also help improve your posture. So we're going to start with some squats. So to do this, you can put your arms straight out. Your feet should be about shoulder width apart. And then the key with these squats is we want to do them slowly. So you're going down into squat like you're sitting, like there's a chair behind you and you're trying to sit down. And then each one we want to do for five seconds. So five seconds down. Invisible chair. Nope, not there. Yes. Back up. We go. And then yeah. five seconds up. And you should feel your glutes and your quads working with this. And the great thing about this is it helps to strengthen your glutes, which are actually one of the main stabilizers for your spine and your knees. Do we lock so our knees do... when we come up, Dr. Liza? Do we lock our knees? You, you don't lock your knees. So whenever you're doing any of these exercises, you want to maintain fluidity in your joints. So you're moving in and out of it. You don't really have to sit in the squat. It's just five seconds slowly down and five seconds slowly up. Okay. I like it. And Feels you good. want to feel everything loosening up, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Blood we did rushing. five, Dr. Eliza. I counted. I think we're on seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's good. My knees oh, we're still doing more? <laughs> no, no, we're good. Oh. Let's do the next oh, one. Oh, okay. Are we so doing I... more? Are we doing no, more? Good. Okay. Well, the thing is, we are going to be doing more squats, but we're going oh. to be changing it up. Okay. So we're going to be adding a thoracic extension to the squat. Oh. So to do this, you're going to interlock your fingers, okay. and then you're going to place them behind your head. Once you do that, you should feel a great stretch through your chest. And with this, as we go down into the squat, we want to squeeze our shoulder blades together for those five seconds. When we get to the bottom, we relax that squeeze and then come back again. So we're doing the squat. So one, two, three, four, five, and keep squeezing, relax the squeeze, and then back up. One, two, three, four, five. Now, what and if we're not bendy enough to have our hands do that all the way at the back of the head like that? Can you cheat it? Yeah, so if you cannot interlock your fingers together, that's no problem. You can even put your hands at your ears. You can put them behind your head. They don't necessarily have to interlock. Okay. And then another thing, when you're going into the squat, try and make sure that your knees are not going together or they're not going out. Try to keep them in line. Okay, so face the TV that they're watching you on right now or the smartphone exactly. or laptop. Okay. Woo! And then have your toes pointing a little bit more forward. And yeah, try not to get them to open up too much. Because the key is, when we're doing these exercises, we don't just want mobility and strength, but it's important to have alignment because when we have proper alignment, then we also have good posture. Nice. Dr. Liza, so that important. completely changes oh, yeah. everything it's on opening. the squat. I can feel that all the way up the back. It's opening That's up. Amazing. It does because now you're working your stabilizers, yeah. which naturally draw your shoulders back, and the whole spine is now aligned while you're doing that. Mm -hmm. So it's a great addition. So do you do this like every morning or after like you've been, you know, sitting down for a couple of hours? You know, you can really do it any time. But for me, I like this as a good morning routine okay. to wake up your body because it literally wakes up your muscles, it wakes up your fascia, and it opens up your joints and lubricates them too. So it's a great way to start the day because then you start the day with great posture. You always want to learn fascia. You know that. Yeah. Yes. And now this is one of my favorite because it feels so good. I call it blowing in the wind. Okay. So with this one, you're reaching up to the ceiling or reaching up to the sky, and you want as much length in your body as you can. And then you're just blowing in the wind from <laughs> side to side. Would have liked to yeah. know <laughs> you, but I was just a kid. <laughs> <laughs> My so arms are flowing. Oh, uh, you know. You know what I see, D? What? I got a car for sale <laughs> over here. <laughs> Used cars for sale. <laughs> Got them over here. Good yeah, deals for those, those cars. Things. I love those things. <laughs> and the thing is, we're not just waving in the air. What we're doing is oh. we're lengthening. Oh. So we're taking as much length as possible, reaching up, 
and then bending. And you want each movement to be as long as possible. So it can be a this slow win, or it could be Yeah, don't throw your back fast. out, right? Go slow. Yeah, I felt yeah, a, a few cracks. A little, bit more, a little bit more length. And the great thing about this one is not only is it working your core, which helps to stabilize your spine, but it helps oh. to strengthen Sorry, stretch the tight back muscles mm -hmm. and stretch your hip flexors as well. Is it normal and to so hear cracking? Is that because I do? I'm I hear my, my hip oh, yeah, cracking there, yeah. in the back. I think it's completely normal to feel cracking, especially if you need this one. Okay. So that probably means your muscles are tight. And this is everything just decompressing. So it's like your morning adjustment. Okay. And that's why I love this one for the morning. Okay. Okay. What's the last one, Dr. Liza? The Let's next do one it. Is a toppling tree. So this challenges your balance, which you need for great posture. Uh -oh. Was that your nickname in yeah. <laughs> the 10th grade? <laughs> Toppley tree? <laughs> yes, yeah, there's close. different variations to this. Oh, no. So we're going to put our feet together. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. And then you're going to swing your arms overhead. And then you can interlock them if you want. Okay. Or you can just put them together. And then you're going to take one step forward. Forward. And then what? you're actually going to topple. Oh, no. So you might just be toppling a little bit. Oh, yeah, right? I'm falling. But the more you can topple so that it's oh. like you're a T, the better. Wow, oh. Dr. Eliza, you're really good oh, at this. Yeah, you're very good. Yeah, and then you want to hold that for about 10 seconds. Okay. Believe it or not, I'm Dude, that's amazing. On, in. on I never the high heel boot. I could be this free. You got the high heel boot and did it. Who could okay. it be? That's the way it challenges your balance more if you have oh, the heels wow. on, right? Okay. <laughs> you know amazing. what, Dr. Eliza? Then, She's awesome. Oh, you have another one? Oh, no, you just want to repeat it on the other on side. On this side, okay. Oh, I'll right. do it while you uh, okay, D. say bye. Dr. Eliza, how do you feel about beards? Uh, I'm, they're not my favorite. <laughs> oh, Dr. Eliza, uh -oh. I'm right here. Things are going so well. I'm still here balancing and doing <laughs> what you said. He and his beard can hear you. You're amazing. I mean, where do we, where do we find more? honest, right? I, I like balancing more than beards. Oh, wow. <laughs> You know what, Devo? I, I must ask you a question, but we'll shave it for later. Okay. Dr. Liza, for more information, we go to at Dr. Liza or Dr. Liza on your screen, eggboga.com. And we've got to go. Yeah. Thank you so much. We'll be back Thanks, with Dr. more BT right after this. I love her honesty, though. Oh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> she knows Thanks what she for likes. the stretches. Oh, that was good.